Some law enforcement officers will be taking time off from patrolling to put on an apron and get to work at area Applebee's locations. Becky Farr joins us live from Minot to tell us why. Becky? Yeah, Nicholas, from 5 to 9 tonight and tomorrow night, more than 100 law enforcement volunteers will be at nine Applebee's locations across the state, spreading the word and raising money for Special Olympics North Dakota. New this year, donations can be made in person or online. Now, this is one of several events that authorities take part in to spread the word about Special Olympics, which serves more than 50 counties here in our state. People really open up and people, some, some people have a lot of questions about Special Olympics, so it's really nice to educate people on Special Olympics and, and, and the, the role that law enforcement and Special Olympics have in their partnership. And it sounds like there's some friendly competition going on. I say that because last year, Minot Law Enforcement here at Applebee's raised more about $4,000, and that got them second in the unofficial ranking. Williston Law Enforcement did come in first, but Nicholas, it's really not about who technically wins because all of the donations that all of the Applebee's locations make with law enforcement will go to Special Olympics North Dakota so that athletes can participate without spending a dime. Thank you very much. We'll see you again at 9 on the Dakota CW.